so handsome. Well, it's funny you mentioned my tattoos, which we'll talk about later in the show, because I brought you a little boy blue one. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, George. You. Okay. Time now for pop news. The Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, stunning at the state banquet held by Queen Elizabeth, honoring the King and Queen of Spain at Buckingham Palace. Stepping out in her most daring look yet, the Duchess, typically known for her more conservative style, looked pretty in pink in a custom-made Marquesa gown with a plunging neckline. And topping off the look, this is the, my favorite part, Kate wore one of Princess Diana's favorite tiaras, the Cambridge lover's knot designed with both diamonds and pearls, which and looks almost like mine. That necklace around her too. It looks She's heavy gorgeous. though. She doesn't look super psyched right there. <laughs> <laughs> Little camera side eye. That's when things so aren't comfortable. Daring, that well, for her, because she always has high necklines and very classic looks, and that is considered plunging, George, on well, a conservative It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. Yeah. She always looks gorgeous though. And next up, the clock is ticking towards the premiere of A Wrinkle in Time. And Entertainment Weekly is giving a first look at the upcoming movie. The issue includes Oprah Winfrey as the wise Mrs. Witch, Reese Witherspoon playing the curious Mrs. What's It, and Mindy Kaling as the theorizing Mrs. Who. The film is out March 9th, 2018. I remember reading that, but I don't remember really the story. So yeah, I'm looking forward to watch that. You read A Wrinkle in Time? I think so. You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, we are celebrating with Billie Jean this morning. You're welcome, Amy. It's 80s. Because an album containing nine unheard Michael Jackson songs will be auctioned unheard? off later this month. Unheard? Really? A blank disc with the word Bible written in pen. It was obtained by a personal friend and personal assistant to Michael who wishes to remain anonymous. The starting bid is 50000 but it's expected that it'll go for as much as $1 million. But the bad news is, and this is the, the kicker here, whoever takes home the CD will not own the rights to the music, so they won't be able to distribute the recording. Hey, but I want to be able to hear it. Will I know, this is like to? the worst teaser ever. Wow. So that person won't be able to play it? No. They won't be able to distribute it at all because they won't have rights. Wow. Huh. Well, maybe one day we can hear it. We need more Michael Jackson. So they can only music. listen to it at home. Yeah. Maybe share it with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it go away. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah.